Hey guys, welcome back to episode two of uh, Let's Play Natural Doctrine. Um, right, I've just realised something else. I was just having a pl quick play off camera, and I didn't do it last time. If I press triangle, I can go to the skill tree. So I've got these to use. So I've got skill points to use, and I'm guessing. Preemptive shield attack with a high probability of staggering the enemy, especially effective against targets with shield defences. So, right, so I can put one there, and then put one there. Okay, uh, then she's got. Become able to equip swords. Uh, become available to equip, but she's already equipping gun, so that's. Attack with your might, damage per 10%, increase by 15. Uh, I think the best one to use would be that. And take up your shield, I can't do shield, enables you to use one small potion. That's one point, right, so if I, although if I go for that one, because she's, even though she's already using guns at the minute. Uh, oh no, I've just realized. Oh, oh, okay, that's cool. So I can, Oh, I, I see. Oh, in that case. Ah, oh, right. So I can turn skills on and off anyway and get my skill points back. So you can literally customise your players any way you want anyway. Okay. Uh, add some point spirit, which may lead to better battle results. Okay. Uh, add some point ability. Use more powerful accelerant by power shot damage increase by being able to use two additional sport potions. Okay, uh, it's one point. I'm going to go for this one, I think, for agility. And then we've got Ezekiel. So he's got no skill points. Okay. Right, so that's done. That done. So we're going here, I think. Would you like to move here? Yes. Right, so... Oh, wait. Oh, okay. Sorry, that's my fault. You haven't saved. Would you like to continue? What? Okay. Uh, no, I don't know what. Apparently, this game doesn't have... Um, um, saving thing. It, it's quite hard, apparently. From what I remember, like about saving, there's no auto save. So if you die, you have to start at the beginning or something. Like go back to the world map. So it's, it's if I remember correctly, it, it did say um, save automatic. Well, not save automatic. Save quite often. Right in the battle, the red and blue icons arranged at the top of the screen represent each character's initiative. The red shows the enemy's initiative, while the blue shows your in initiative. As a standard rule, each unit gets one point of initiative per round, and the order will alternate between ally and enemy units. Okay. Pisces Goblin Mine. Would you like to begin the tutorial? This will help you get the hang of battle. If you want to start the map over, you can select retry from start. Yeah, because... Right, please select strengthening your defences. Strengthening your defences. This is a core element to minimising the damage of your allies. Take preventing a devastating loss. Move Jeff to the indicated location in the adjacent area and use improved guard link condition. Party members must be in the same area or an adjacent area. Okay, so if I move him there and then use that. Okay, it's your link turn. Have everyone reserve. Right. <coughs> okay, confirm. But surely one, oh, and then again, there's no one there to shoot. So yes, this does make sense. But there's another treasure chest in there, which is interesting. Jeff has, failed. what? Jeff has prevented the enemy's melee fighters from approaching, but their ranged attackers have taken aim at anchor. This is a good example of a bad outcome. Oh, I see. Long shot. He doesn't look very happy, does he? Is this it? I'll cover you. 
Nice. Oh, I've got another. That's three trophies I'm unlocked so far. We're on a roll. Oh, his his uh, pickaxe got stuck. Now let's try it again from the beginning. Let's go. Move Jeff to the indicated location in the adjacent area and use improved guard link to my okay. okay. It's your turn. Have Zeke and Varsali reserve, okay? Me too, me too. Move Anchor to indicate location my high Jeff and have a reserve, okay. This is very strong positioning. Jeff is in front of blocking the enemy's line of fire and Uncle is behind him ready to... Oh, okay. So it's like a shield wall, if you will. Okay, that's interesting. So uh, that way I'll block all attacks and then she can shoot back. Okay. Jeff is absorbing all the enemy attacks. Once that's done, Anka will protect him using cover fire, which will give you an advantage of going forward. Wouldn't it be better to have um, the other bird stand in front as well with a shield so that she can... There's two shields then. Surely that would make sense. But hey, who am I to argue? Oh, that's cool. I think. Right, the fundamental tactic of positioning weak character behind tougher ones will serve you well in a wide variety of situations. Would you like to view another tutorial? Maximi maximizing your tactical links. The link effect of the tactical link increases in proportion to the distance each character is from each other when forming the link. The use the left hand to move Jeff to the link. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, what, what, what he just said. Right, so move you there. Use triangle to set your auto target or use the right analytic to move your cursor to target the indicated enemy. Use switch equipment and then attack using power shot. In order to use a gun, you'll need to learn guns from your skill tree. But he doesn't. Oh, I've got another trophy, okay. It's your turn. Have Zeke and Vasily reserve. Then use it to indicate location and you shoot. Okay. Wait, where am I moving her? Oh, there. Ah, I see. So behind them two. Pay attention to all angles in an area. In all... Ah, I see. I think. He has got a gun. When did he be able to equip guns? So this game's technically just like all about angles and aiming. Think. I think I kind of understand it. It might if you position your allies intelligently, you can boost effect. So, it, would you like to boost it? No, I'm going to jump into the game. Sod it. Would you like to begin a tutorial? This will help you hanging back. Oh, so there we can slowly try from start. No. Okay. Right. So there, around there. So again, if I move. Him here, and then God, I'm gonna leave you there in reserve, and I'm gonna put you here in guard. I know this isn't what it just said, but if I put her there, and then end, I don't. I think I've buggered it up already, but we'll see. We'll see. Damn it, they can get an attacking on her. Crap, I moved her too far forward. Oh, there's a lever there. So they're guarding and attacking. Right, they're guarding that lever. Ah, they're doing pretty much doing what I'm doing, because they've got guns and shooters, haven't they? And he's got a, to a, a target. Right, confirm. Unending attack, that doesn't sound good. Nice. Then we've got the cover fire. Hey, did he get behind me? How did he get behind me? Oh god, she's going to die because I screwed up. Oh, she, he, she counted and he got stuck. Yes. Damn it, I was going to get... Right, I want to move him to attacking now, don't I, really? Okay. 
Right, I think. Keep it going. I want him to. God. Bye. Keep it going. Nope, I didn't want to do that. Crap. God. Attack. And then. Right, ah, okay, so I can shoot, so it'd be worth, I think, shooting him. Okay, she's going to shoot him instead. Okay, that's fine. That's not who I wanted to shoot. Oh, there we go. Don't know who he was shooting at then. I thought I got another trophy, but I haven't. Seven Days to Die is installed. That's a... Um, another game I'm going to try doing a let's play on as well because I'm in the mood playing like a zombie survival horror game but I don't want to play Resident Evil so I'm going to play that you know what I'm going to right so if I attack you and then is there anyone else right okay so he can't attack so if I put him in reserve if I attack you and then I can attack you there we go okay so let's see what that does damn it oh geez I didn't realize you can friendly fire oh that's interesting well it's not interesting but it's nice to know pardon me I need to be careful of that then Oh, they've got quite a lot of uh, initiative, haven't they? Or link attack. Oh, I thought she was dead then. So, I don't know if they've, like... Did, oh, she blocked it. Do they have, like, counter attack or something? Nice little block. Right, hopefully we can get Ezekiel to do some attack in there. You know what, no, I want you to, oh, she's nearly dead. Can I? Right, so I can't, I'm going to put you on guard. Uh, and if I move you behind, okay, so I can't move her behind. Uh, shoot you, or you're the best one, I think. You're far away. Yes, because you're an immediate threat, so that works. Okay, so that's blocking that. It's slowly working. But my god, it takes forever. It's been, although I have been doing um, trait uh, uh, tutorial, that's the word I'm after. Right, how many more goblins is there? I think there's only one, isn't there? Yeah. Ah, oh, damn it. How did I miss both attacks? Was it because she hit the wall or something? Damn it. Ha! Not that fast, though. Victory conditions, advance to the target area. Okay. I'll just, ah, there we go. We'll open the treasure chest. What we got? Acquired Acidioric Ring. Okay. Let's go. Right, so I've got to advance. Mm. Leave a put. Oh, it's a hidden wall. Oh, there's more goblins. Okay. Uh, and oh, there is more. Great. Hello. Ah, I wasn't prepared for this, was I? No, I thought it was the end of the game. 
So where's the green area that I've got to get to? Unending attack. Damn, son. So I better use a potion with what's a face and haven't I? I'll cover you. Uh, oh, oh, yes. Block, hit, block, block. Stab, thrust, yes. Nice. It's not a big deal. So they, they do heal automatically, do they? Set. Oh, this green bit. But I might as well take out the goblins, haven't I, first. So if I guard... Uh, I can shoot. Right, okay, so I can't shoot any of them and I can't move. God. Right, so they're still too far away, aren't they? Yeah. Okay, so if I reserve. Are we ready? You know what? So it will just go here. I think I've done the right thing. I think. <laughs> They keep retreating a little bit. Why do they keep retreating? Let's right, it's my turn now. My turn. Okay, so I just want to full out attack you now. Is it all out attack, preemptive blow? Watch this. You know, I'm just gonna do all that attack, sod it. Let's see what it does. 33, 38. Meh. Is this a boss in here? Are we ready? I think so. I think I'm doing the right thing. Let's go. It's a door. What is that in there? Right, so there's nothing to attack in there, so... Do I need a key or something? I think I do, don't I? There's nothing that... There's a door. Prison door. Are you used to interact with doors? Oh, here we go. Time to move. Oh dear. <laughs> I've just activated a boss and I've got no one here. Crap. Okay. Oh dear. Ah, crap. 113 damage. Sweet. Jesus. Right. Uh, God. Yes. I need to bring an anchor back. Tyrant Blow. Unless he could kill it on his own, but I don't think he will. Ah, oh, crap. Zeke's died. Wait. Hey. What? Game over if one person dies. Right. Start over from checkpoints. Start over from the beginning. I'm going to return to title, guys. I'm going to get end this episode here. And we'll give the dungeon another go in the next episode. Um, so, thank you very much for watching. I do hope you've all enjoyed it. And, if you, again, if you know anything about the game, don't give me spoilers. But give me some tips if you know anything in the comments below. And I'll see you all in the next episode. Take care. Bye.